Hello everyone, welcome back to Visual Literacy Hub. This is Angela. A lot of life-changing events are happening in my life at the moment and I've been extremely busy with work, which is why it took me some time to catch up with this channel. However, I'm back now and excited to bring you more videos about visual literacy. Recently, I've been visiting the 1000 Steps in Dandenong Ranges National Park, Melbourne. The Dandenong Ranges National Park is home to a diverse range of plant and animal species. And if you're lucky, you might even spot wildlife such as wombat, lara birds and wallabies. Officially named the Kokodub Track Memorial Walk, the track was built in the early 1900s by soldiers who had returned from fighting in Papua New Guinea during World War II. They built the track to simulate the steep and rugged terrain they had encountered during the Kokoda campaign, a major battle fought between Australian and Japanese forces. The reason I started visiting the 1000 Steps is that I realised how important it is to immerse myself in nature to counterbalance the effects of digital technologies. Spending a large portion of my time browsing, working and interacting with the digital environment makes me feel like a robot, constantly processing and communicating data, rather than a human being. Willingly or unwillingly receiving millions of pieces of visual, audio and textual information about good or horrible news, what's trending, and who is famous, makes me feel caught in other people's lives rather than my own. However, there have been some moments in my life where I felt that I was brought back into my own inner world, where I felt quiet, free and peaceful. All of these wonderful moments have one thing in common. They are all gifts of nature. Where I stare at the sunset on the beach, walk through a forest and smells the grass, observe sea life in the ocean, or touch the leaves and stem of a giant tree. These moments bring me back to the ecosystem from the concrete jungles and make me feel like a part of nature again. My need to connect with the mother nature also reflects in my fondness for color green. My close friends can tell you how much I love this color. Since falling in love with it about three to four years ago, I started filling my everyday life with green objects, clothes, accessories, cushions and plants and more. Do you know that the reason why the color green is often associated with nature is because in the natural world, green is a common color due to the presence of chlorophyll, the pigment that helps plants to convert sunlight into energy through photosynthesis. As a result, green has become the symbolic colour of growth, renewal and vitality, a representation of the natural world. Australia is a resourceful, beautiful and nurturing land full of natural wonders and heritage. I feel fortunate to have spent the last 15 years of my life on this land, where I have been given every opportunity to connect with nature. To me, visual literacy is not just about the ability to navigate the digital visual world, but to also open your eyes to nature's gifts that we often take for granted. I hope this video inspires you to reconnect with nature from time to time and find your place as a beloved child of Mother Nature. That's it for today. See you in the next video. Or if you live in Melbourne, maybe we'll see each other along the 1000 steps. Bye!